sophomore year and Chelsea's senior year, and it was our volleyball season. And after one of the practices, she said that we had some really serious business to talk about. She told me she liked this Connor kid, and <laughs> she didn't know if she should start dating anyone during her senior year in fear of going to different colleges, and she had been through some really serious heartbreak in the past year. So she asked me if she thought I should date him or not. And me being single at the time and terrified of seeing her hurt again and not really knowing Connor too well, I told her no. <laughs> so I remember her, she looked me vividly in the eyes and she said, well, I'm gonna do it anyways. We've learned through the years that whatever advice we give each other, we tend to do the exact opposite. I'm not usually wrong, but um, <laughs> but in this case, I was so, so wrong, and I'm really, really glad I was wrong, and she didn't take my advice that day. Today, Connor, Chelsea gives to you the gift of herself. All that she is, all that she hopes to be, she gives right now to you. And there is no more precious gift than this. She believes that she can be better who God intended her to be with you than she can be without you. She holds her heart in her hand. She extends it to you, knowing that you will always take care of her. And Chelsea Connor, likewise, he gives himself to you as a gift. And it is not easy for a man to give himself to anyone. But in you, he's found someone with whom he can trust his heart, his life, his goals, his dreams. By the power vested in me and Almighty God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Come.